Hi everybody, happy Wednesday. Today we are on my front porch and I've decided to do the whole decorating of it today. And of course, I've already got my flowers in, but we're gonna do everything else on here. And uh, before we get started, I have a little video snippet here to show you. And this is what we call April showers here in Colorado. So like I said, that is what we call April showers here in Colorado. It actually happened last night. And let's see, I know at three o'clock it was not snowing. And at seven o'clock, I took the dogs out to the backyard and I opened up the curtain. I go, you gotta be kidding me. And my husband goes, what, is it snowing? And I go, yeah, it's snowing. I said, the grass is completely covered. But the good thing about it with our spring snows is they don't last long because you, there's really hardly any of it left here today. That was just this morning when I got up around 7, between 7 and 7.30. I came out here and did that little video just to show you. But like I said, hardly any snow left. So let's go ahead and get started on this porch because you know what? It's a little windy here today, not super warm. It's a little chilly on this porch in the shade. So. Let's get going on. The first thing I've done is put my yellow and white striped throw on here. And I want to use a buffalo check pillow. However, I don't have true buffalo check ones because this is a fall one. So I'm just going to turn it around because I have the buffalo check front here. So it's just going to sit over there. And that is all that I'm going to do on the bench. I don't really feel like doing too much on the bench today. So now we're going to come over here move the camera over. Okay, and we are at this urn on this side. I am going to add this huge yellow watering can. I got this, uh, I think a couple years ago at Home Goods. I really, really love this. I am just going to set it right there. And that is going to do it for this side. Now we're going to go to the other side where the table is and get that decorated. Now I've gone ahead and put a little bit of decor inside my two yellow lanterns here. I have some green mason jars, some greenery, some yellow, I don't even know what you call them, little pom-pom looking flowers, and a couple lemons in there. So now I'm gonna add some greenery in between. It's gonna get a little out here, sorry about that car going by. A little bit of greenery in between. I'm gonna use some fern, faux ferns, and uh, lemons, and uh, see what else I can find to put there, and we'll do that step by step. All right, I tried to bring the camera over here a little bit closer, but it's kind of hard with a stoop, so hopefully you can see everything. I've added a few of the fern greenery that I have, and I'm gonna add this other piece here. I'm just gonna kind of tuck it in here. I love car going by. <laughs> and I'm actually going to try to bend it down a little. I want it to dangle because I have some flowers that are going to hang down here. All right. I think that looks good. Let me go grab the flowers and we'll continue on. Next, I'm going to be using these yellow flowers. I like them because they dangle down. And I'm just going to Stick them back here. I'll go put them down here behind the table. It can get a little windy on the porch, so. Oh, sorry, not a loud truck going by there. Mm -hmm. Kind of surprised how much traffic we get on this street. And they all seem to come when I'm doing a video out here. <laughs> Any other time I'm out here, it's kind of quiet. So we do that. Then I have some of these lemons that I'm just going to be tucking in here. Put this one over here. Okay, so now 
I'm going to do one more of these dangly flowers on top. So I need to go grab it and I'll be right back. Okay, here I have one more of these and we're going to check this back here too. Tangle it a little bit. Table out just a little bit. More. There we go. I'm going to back. So now they should hold and not blow away. I'm just going to get this a little bit. Yeah. Kind of like that. Keep it hanging over. And, you know, I'm going to have to do some touch-ups on this table. I noticed that when we moved, had a little bit of a scuff marks on here. The old paint color coming through. All right, I think that is all that I'm going to put on this table for now. Kind of like that. Okay, now I have a little flower arrangement I made that I'm going to put down at the bottom and one more cute little touch up by the urn that's on the right side of the door. So, you know, I'm having a hard time finding things. I don't have everything unpacked yet, but I happen to find this. It's green, because I wanted something green to put my forsythias in. And, whoopsie, let's go up. I made this arrangement a little bit earlier today. I think this looks really cute. So I'm just gonna be setting it down here because I wanna cover up that piece of wood because our porch slants down, of course, for the water. And this is always crooked. And you know, one two by four just happened to make it level. So I'm gonna set this down here. Okay. Now we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna put something really cute next to the urn that's on the right side of the door right now. So since I have that yellow watering can on the left side of the door, uh, I need something yellow on the right too. So I am gonna use my little yellow rubber boots. These are just kid sizes. I got these a few years ago at Walmart. I'm glad I did, because I don't think I've seen yellow there. But these are just gonna sit right here. I think that looks so cute, just like that. No flowers in them, just leave them like that. So now I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod and we will check out the whole porch. So here is the front porch. I really love all these pops of yellow on here. Let's go over here to this side. I really love this watering can. And if I wasn't doing, you know, mainly yellow, green, black, and white, I would put some really colorful flowers in the watering can. Come over here. Like I said, I just think these boots look so cute next to here. And we have this. That looks really, really cute. And I decided not to put anything down below this time. I think I have enough going on as it is. <laughs> okay, now let's check out the wreath. I did add a couple of uh, these right here. I cut these at Joann's. They had their flowers for spring. Buy one, get one free. So I just happened to be near Joann's the other day and snatched them up. Now, I thought these kind of looked like buttercups a little bit, but I think they call them uh, mini poppies, but they just kind of remind me of buttercups. And I just tucked in a few here and there and tweaked the roses a little bit. I really like this wreath. I know, I think it needs a bow, maybe. I don't know. I don't have all my ribbon out yet, so it's going to stay the way it is for now. Let's uh, do a real quick close-up over here. So I think you got to see inside. There's a little bit of a glare here. Seems my green mason jars inside. I use a small one in that one and a, a larger size in this one. Okay. 
thing. Let's go back up here a little bit. And I can't wait to get this front door black. Oh, let me tell you, it's interesting here with your paint colors that you that you are allowed to pick. Yeah. <laughs> We'll talk about that later, and I'll show you. Still waiting on the approval. I mean, I did pick the colors that they said I could have, so. But I want a black door. And you get, like, three choices with black doors. Or black accent, so. <laughs> okay, yeah, I really love this. Actually, I don't mind having a small front porch. I think it's kind of cute. My neighbor uh, next door, the one that does the crafts, she's got beautiful spring flowers on her front porch and one of those beautiful wreaths that she made and she's got uh, big old flowers going across the top and I said I just love that so that's something I might do down the road is do something above the door in between the door frame and the window I think that'd be real pretty okay so that's all I'm gonna be doing on the front porch so we're gonna be wrapping up the video here in just a few seconds well, I hope that you enjoyed the video today, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up because that does help my channel out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would just love for you to hit that subscription button down below and make sure you hit the bell to get the notifications for all my new videos that will be coming up. I hope that I could give you some ideas how to decorate your front porch or even your back porch. Now, you know what? I think I'm going to go inside. It is it's still a little windy out here, and it's... Oop, a little bit chilly. So I've been out here a little while. So I'm going to head on inside. I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.